Welcome to an exciting episode of Claimed Game. With the newly released Portal Stories of Mel. I think it's just Colin Mel, but... It could be of either or. Mel! Yeah, why not? So, uh, I have played this. I uh, have not. It came out within the past week. Is this right on? From when we're recording this. I'm not sure when I'm going to start releasing these. I yeah, okay. I, is this actually the voice actor of Cave Johnson, or is this just someone they've gotten to sound a lot this like? Is, this is someone they got to uh, sound similar. Okay, okay. I was like, that was going to be really impressive if they actually got that voice actor. It uh, would have. Um, definitely. However, it's just a bad impersonation. Amphetamines <laughs> 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 God, okay. Is that one? Sorry. You know what? Quantum yeah, tunneling device. Right Lots of doing, which um, he's basically here. doing that whole intro, you know, hey, welcome to uh, After Science. Yeah, true, true. Uh, wait. Where are we again? After, after leisure. Okay. So, I still, I still love the, that idea that you just have like, a cola with amphetamines in it. Like, holy, is, holy shit. <laughs> like, I'm just thinking like a Mountain Dew or like a monster. That you just drop three trucker pills in, and like that's that. <laughs> <laughs> like, my heart is skipping thinking about this. <laughs> so, uh, starting out with a train ride, very akin to uh, um, yeah, very Half Life games, right there. Very Valve mm -hmm. I wonder if there will be. You know what would be a real nod if there was a valve on this uh, pipe? There's not, bro. There, there's not. If only they had a valve on the pipe. Can I press that? Go faster. Uh, Go you're, faster. You're doing exactly what I was doing here. It's like, ugh, just let me play. It's, <laughs> this is the problem with like Half-Life 1. Like, cause it's, it's such an iconic thing, but anytime you go back to play it, it's like... It's it's like 20 minutes holy to shit. get through that whole opening sequence. Just like at least give me... A th and if, you know, arguably if you played it before, then you have the thing saved where you can just start the next chapter, but still though. I once uh, loaded up Half-Life 1 to play, and... Immediately after getting off the tram at the beginning, uh, got glitched into a wall and could not get out. And so I had to watch the entire thing again in order to start playing again. It was, to, a, it was a fresh install, so I didn't have any. I'd have to all tab out save. for that second one for sure. So it was uh, pretty bad. Did, did you hit something or did you just stop? No, we stopped. This door had to close uh, and then this door has to open. Oh, of course. Um, I remember the, the best time that I think the both of us tried to play Half Life 1 is. Um, our friend had a modded Dreamcast, and so we're like, oh, you have Half-Life? I can go for that again. <laughs> and so oh, we, and get, we, we get up, we set through the whole intro, <laughs> and then we realize we that the Dreamcast controller only has the one joystick, and there's no way to control the camera. <laughs> so the, the camera was controlled with buttons, and it was just like, oh, well, we're not doing this. <laughs> like, well, and, and then just, bloop. Fuck <laughs> this. It did be like trying to control a... Um, a uh, first-person shooter with like the C buttons on an N64 controller, and that's your that's your other analog stick. Um, there, there was a game like that. What? Gold Goldeneye. Goldeneye. Yeah, yeah, but it had more of like it had a lot of auto aim things and like that. That's like, true. Like there, it was built true. around the which, idea. Which, for all we know, they had that in the Half Life version, Goldeneye. but we did not get far enough to. Is this find all out. custom art, or did they pull it? I'm sorry. Yeah, I I, I'm pretty sure this is all custom. I'm sorry. What were you just saying there? Uh. Stuff about things. Half Life, for all we know, had an auto aim thing that helped, like an aim assist. That's but true. We didn't even get we, far enough yeah. to find out. Yeah. Like before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out. And as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray exfoliation. I actually not know. Right we now. haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. It's really well done, this mod. No, it really is. Like, there wasn't even an area this open in the regular, like, like, I mean, this is, like, maybe have like two, like, yeah, something like this. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet, either. I think it's a little nicer, though, than... I think there's been some improvements to the Source engine. 
Is this supposedly still inside the thing somehow, or like, like he's still talking? No, you're over a... you're on the surface right now. Okay, okay. Yeah, you, want... you were just taking a train ride from like another city. Well, I mean, but I could totally see this all being in some sort of dome inside of Aperture. I, it would fit That's with the lore. Find. That's I for sure. Found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> Isn't that, that neato? Yeah. Kind of makes me <laughs> sad. This is all well, look, custom art, this too. This looks like Halo or Mass Effect or, you know, any other ring like space station because that's actually a pretty common idea in sci fi. This looks like Future by Design from What's His Face. I wonder if they actually used some of his art. It looks like his. I know you don't know who I'm talking about, but. No, no. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, link in the description, yeah. Oh, look at science, this guy. He's over there doing science stuff. That's one thing I do enjoy about this, Aperture is you occasionally Cola. see people. And that's that's just neat. No, yeah, because uh, before this, the, the world of so, Portal was so... First, and this is not canon, but... Down the so, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> like, Seriously, wonder... though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Like, all this space stuff, is this what like, they're supposedly going to do, or...? I... He was I'm not sure. I don't know. But, um, the... The voice actor, in my opinion, is not that good at doing no, Cave Johnson, but the writing for the dialogue, the writing's spot pretty, on. The writing's pretty good. The, the, I think he's doing the best he can. That's kind of a hard voice to to mm -hmm. get. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a voice actor, but it just Jackie Simmons very has distinct, a very recognizable very voice. Yeah, yeah. it'd be like um, I, I know I should know his name, but the guy from <clears throat> Archer and Bob's Burgers, uh. uh John Benjamin. Yeah, like yeah, it'd be like if someone trying to do his exact voice, that particular voice, I think would be very difficult because it's known so well. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between years and a generous helping of the your fire stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. With this. And, uh, you, I, you're, you're now looking at the wrong thing. Oh, okay. Introducing the Aperture Science <laughs> Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. I don't know why they have they to be they float in the air, but in fact... Uh, because it's always better with the sphere. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my guys. That's being recorded. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wouldn't remember in the room out the door. Half-Life episode, half -life 2 episode and something, one of them, uh, they try to tie it in with the uh, Portal universe. The these spheres yeah. won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Short-Term Relaxation. That sounds very familiar. Of all of, of all of those things, I bet it will in fact be a vault. <laughs> I can see it being slightly relaxing, I'll bet there'll be some art or something in there. Oh, probably some relaxing art. Perhaps some uh, smooth jazz. I wouldn't go that far. That, that would be ridiculous. Is it control? Yeah, okay. You no, know, this is a this is a Kataro Crouch game. Oh, I, I know I shouldn't be trying to do this. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, see, for once, though, you're playing video games like I do. Well, you're, it's because to... I'm so... I'm, no, 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 not that not, this isn't well done, but I'm... We had the we had the the train ride. The offices, now it's an elevator. Mm -hmm. It's like it's let me go. You, I know you're proud of the your thing, man, and I did again really good writing, but like you need to let the player have at least have the portal gun or something or see a portal by now. Yeah, this whole uh, opening area is just exposition. Which can fine. Don't worry, it's fine, it's just fine. But this is something that in play I feel like because it, it, as a player, I am. I am antsy and I am bored at this point. Not bored, but it's not the right word. I'd be lying if I had said that I wasn't the same way. I was very bored by this point. Why are those scientists just standing staring at each other? 
Because it's like, it's just, it's like we've, we've seen the orb thing. There's all this like, science to be done. There is a lot of science. We are at the bottom now, I think. Oh, no, <laughs> surprise. There's a whole other... There's a whole other thing. Okay, now we're at the bottom, this I think. This has got to be it. Surely. <laughs> Okay, I can see it's you know what that means? opening loading screen. Loading zone. <laughs> so a lot of these areas are really big. Yeah. I I mean, even if it was very little detail, you can only have so much space in a map. Mm -hmm. And it just it, it makes sense. Okay, okay. There, there is still so, said, at least one more loading screen before you get to real action. Though. Well, at least I'm getting to. I have an environment to walk around in again. Like just yeah. putting me on rails at the beginning is fine. That's kind of a callback. So I'm not... most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. There's fire wings. These are crazy. This is not real water, is it? Oh, you guess. did the same thing I did. You just dove right in. Well, because it doesn't look like water. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, this is probably some flat simulated water. There there was actually an achievement I got for doing that. <laughs> I mean, okay, oh, I'm going back here. Right, okay, sorry, sorry, guys. Look at that. does not look like... Once you get up to it... Okay, no, there is some movement to it. There, okay. It was like just a solid texture to me, though. All right. I, I don't see... I, I knew it was water, and I just walked right well, into it. I knew it was water. It was it's just like, like, oh, that's cool. There's water in this game that you can go into. It's like, oh, I guess. Uh, I guess not. I guess not. Don't mind the turrets. They're fire and blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. How are you gonna go and hire a guy called Crazy Harry to do stuff for you? That's just seems. Is that him? Is this Crazy Harry right here? No, that's that's uh. Are you sure. Oh, that's Cave Johnson himself. Yeah. That's the yeah, man. A younger version of him. Whoa, come on now. Woohoo! Don't worry. Oh, look at that. That's a, that looks like one of the jukeboxes from Left 4 Dead. I'm sorry, what turrets? So, do you not see them over there? Well, he just specifically said they will not kill you. Well, yeah, but I don't I don't trust turrets. Well, I was going to pick up this jukebox. I, okay, no. Would, not. Why would... Why you, would I be able to pick up I, a jukebox? I don't know. Uh, fair enough. I wanted cover, man, just in case. Can I pick up these boxes? Nope. <sighs> okay, I think I've, I think this is it, probably, huh? That looks very vaulty. This looks very much like. Wow, I uh, dis. Oh wow. You're in the saving chamber. <laughs> man, like if I had to do this in RL. Yes, sir, Mr. Jensen. Then you're good to go. That, that's cool because they just took the audio file from Portal Two. Right. Yeah. Take care of the rest. <laughs> there we go. I was actually trying to do it. Look at them with Source Filmmaker being all professional. Right? Like, I'm really impressed with the know, like, uh, did a quality good job. from Source really Filmmaker did a good stuff. Job, but it's like, all of this should have been about five minutes shorter, I think. I, I don't know, how long have we... Uh, about, about ten minutes or so we've been playing. And a little bit longer than that because before they started the time. Okay, maybe not that long. But just the, the elevator... Should have been a little bit shorter. That's really all I have to say so far. Other than that, I love everything. The, the, it, the, such amazing crafts was put into this. They went a little heavy on the exposition. But you're, it, I can get that though, because like if you put in this much work into it, you're probably very proud of what you're doing, and you're trying to put in as much as much of the lore that you've come up with into this in as short of a time as possible. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, I've got. And this they did a good job of. Like, Valve could adopt this as being canon towards really the could. series, because I don't think they and Gabe really seems do like anything. a cool enough person that he might just run with that. <laughs> I mean, honestly, the thing is, it's like, it, it, unless, like, they did something to directly contradict anything in this, it would just... For all we know, they have work. plans for Portal 3 that is that would contradict all of this. A, I suppose. <laughs> I, you know, I said the same thing about... Uh, I guess I don't know as much about the story. There, there was a mod for Portal 1 that I, I said the same thing about. They could, you know, very well adapt this and make it canon towards the series. And then Portal Stories, no, not Portal Stories, uh, the Ratman comics, whatever they were called, came out and it... Just, just like, threw away the whole Pretty, thing. Pretty much threw away everything. All right. Oh, look, everything looks just fine. And I was talking over it, but that uh, Cave Johnson impression, mm -hmm. even worse than before. That, it, yeah, it sounded particularly bad there. Yeah. Okay, can I get back up there? There we go. <laughs> Don't worry about the heights. 
had a few of my scientists make what's called wow yeah that's really bad right I now i mean aperture science innovators long haul boots <laughs> that was easier to think of than i thought <laughs> Like the idea that he was just on the spot naming things. Yeah. <laughs> Long fall uh, boots. Yeah, that's it. That's that's what that's what we got. Perhaps a jab at Valve for you know having all these scientific names in the Portal series for all these you know, the Aperture Science, heavy colliding super button, and then it's just Long fall boots. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry. Someone moved plants in. Did they move plants in or did they grow? Because I'm getting the idea that it's been a while. I. It might have been a while, but I don't know why. I bet you anything, some of these are potato vines. Wait, what's that, what's that to your right? This? That can't be important. What's no, this, that's what's probably this not important. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty cool looking portal gun that they designed there. I like it. There's only one issue I have with it, which will become apparent to you uh, fairly soon. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not a big gripe at all. I... You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built a building like this. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't... I'll point it out when it happens. Don't worry about okay. that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah. <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper. To get more testing spheres in. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Man, his impression is like completely falling apart at this point. <laughs> like, it is... It's... He was trying beforehand. Right. So far, pretty basic. Did you see that graphical glitch as you went through? No, I did not. Uh, well, well, as you go through portals, the little portal beam or energy field, whatever you want to call it in the middle there, um, like, starts shooting across the screen. And it really bugs me. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to pay attention. Yeah, Don't forget, you can always look up and check which one you just shot. Don't mind all this oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you see that? Yeah. Earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. It's, uh... Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, wow. yeah. yeah, and that's the only thing that bugs me. And I, I'm pretty sure that is because of the design, the you know, the reskin of the... It's weird. It only happens for, like, a... Huh. Yeah, How there's bizarre. a very specific spot in the portal that it happens. So, I don't know... Well, that would take you right back where you came from. Oh, is, oh okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right, because uh, that's where I shot to. Derp, derp, derp. Look, it's a walking thing. It got to hold that. That's kind of cute. You're actually paying attention to the science more than I did. Well, like, because at this point in time, I was just ready to start doing puzzles. Well, no, yeah, but it's like they're actually they're putting some. Hey, I'm so still trying to like uh, soak in the world bit. a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. stuff from the future got here. Okay, so yeah, this. Okay, so this isn't the future. Um, worry, stuff from the future came to the present is what happened. Wait, okay. what? Yeah. All right. So the earthquakes kind of did some. Redecorating in here. Oh. Destroy the door too. Oh. You'll have to find another way out. Well, that's a shame about the uh, the forceful redecorating from the uh, earthquake. Uh, Earth being like, yeah, no, fuck you, Cave Johnson, and you thinking you can just dig these salt mines however much deeper. <laughs> like seriously, he's like, how many of those did he already have? And he went like deeper. Um, there were, I believe, nine shafts, <laughs> and he said, Johnny, deeper. <laughs> What? It was, I forget what TV show, but it just, it cuts in and that's all you hear. Is <laughs> just, and, and this guy's face is like, what? It's from Venture Brothers. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's why he's talking. It was at the presidential thing. And, uh, oh, that's actually lots. Okay. Well, where do I shoot this portal up then? <laughs> hmm. It seems like it's got to be through here somewhere, but I'm not seeing, like, a surface. Well, you might have missed it, but he did say launch yourself through the window. Oh, oh okay, yep, now I see it. Um, yeah, I did, I did miss it. I don't want to just directly give you hints, no, but no, no, yeah, in case I like that, that of missed dialogue, yeah. uh, I, I think that's okay. And in fair, like, yeah, no, I could have probably, if I had eventually looked at that and seen the thing, now I just need to find a decent spot to jump from. How did I? Well, I guess I'll figure this out on the next episode and we should be launching through the air without a care who could it be believe it or not it's just me i don't know the song oh 